Good morning, fourth grade. Happy Monday. Okay, today I'm going to read two pages 187 through 189. On your own, you can read 190 and 191 and fill out the form, okay? Listening ears, here we go. Well, yes, I guess in some family, I should know. It's a gulf morale, Fudge whispered. What an unusual name, Adora said. Isn't that an unusual name, Farley? Igduff, Minnie said. Shh, Fudge warned him. Never say it out loud. Igduff. Minnie whispered, that's better, Fudge said. In case you want to know what it means, it's Fudge spelled backwards. Adora was quiet for a minute. Then she said, Yulroth? What? Fudge asked. Yulroth, Adora repeated. That's Farley spelled backwards. Now he needs a last name. Do you have another? Do you have a mother? He asked Adora. I did, but she died a few years ago. Her name was Rose. You got that, Minnie? Fudge said. Your code name is Yulroth Rose, but it's a secret, so don't tell anyone. I think Minnie's too young to get it, I told Fudge. You're never too young for a code name, Pete, and never too old either. You better start working on yours if you're going to take the subway by yourself. Thanks for the advice, Fudge. Better safe than sorry. That's what Grandma always says. Now that I admit it to Fudge, but all his talk about code names got me thinking maybe I should have one too. Hmm, let's see. I spelled my name backwards in my head. Rekt. Then I threw in my middle name spelled backwards just to make it more interesting. Nura. Then I added Grandma's name, Muriel. Muriel. That made me rip up, Norel Muriel. Good name, but who should I tell? Not Fudge. He'd broadcast it to the world. Jimmy? I don't think so. He might laugh. I still couldn't figure out how having a good name would help me if I met with trouble on the subway or anyplace else. As soon as the Howies were settled in the Chen's apartment, Adora invited us down to dinner. Do I have to go? I asked Mom. Yes. Can't you tell him I have a stomach ache or something? No. Can I go home the second I'm done eating because I have a lot of homework? You can go home as soon as the table is cleared, Mom said, as long as you're polite about it. It'll be very polite. You won't believe how polite I can be when I want to be polite. I'd be so polite. Okay, Peter, Mom said. I get your point. At the dinner table, the talk turned to Halloween. Fudge said, Minnie can trick or treat with me. We're taking him, Flora said. We've always been curious about Halloween, Fauna said. What's all this talk about Halloween, how he asked. How... You know how I feel about candy. We don't care about the, when it began, candy, Flora said. We're interested in the culture, cultural event, Fauna said. We want to observe, Flora said. As part of our studies, Fauna said. Mom told Cousin Howie how safe it is to trick-or-treat in our building. We know all the neighbors, Adora said. It might be educational for them to experience Halloween one time, Howie. Cousin Howie drummed his fingers on the table. His eyebrows crept together. After a while, he said, all right. But just this one time, and no candy. Candy will rot your teeth. You don't have to worry about candy, Daddy, the natural beauty said together. I was beginning to see how this worked. Okay, go ahead. Read page 119, 191 on your own. Have a great day. Bye, guys.